Hello everyone, it's Sonne from Anna's Paper Creations and welcome back to part 11 on how to make a yearbook memory album. So today we are going to create the October but first I want to show you something what we did last year. Uh, here is an image behind here and uh, this I just colored in with a Copic marker. You can use any color you like to color in if you want to change because I think this was blue and I didn't want any blue on this page so that was that and also for these hinges here usually when I use the hinges I use um, only the hinges here and not the, the black hinges on the back and I didn't understand why it couldn't open more than to this so I um, took this on here and I glued it down and uh, when it's paper behind, it's obviously that it can't fold more than the paper is. So if you are going to create this exact, so just choose this or the hinge behind. So normally when I create I only use one of the things, but it was just to show that you can use some different things. But um, <laughs> don't do both, then it won't fold properly up if you want it to, but I think it doesn't matter here. It's okay that it folds like that. But if you want it to fold all the way, uh, then you take one of the things. So, yeah, just can close this. So now we can start here on this page. And uh, here we are going to uh, make a banner and also show you a bit on this. And here I want this image, like so, but I don't want the other to show up in the back, so I cut the strip that's uh, the same height here, and I'm just showing a bit of the green here, so we're going to glue that down, and I stick something behind here, so I'm sure I'm not gluing it all down, so... else down here. So then it's uh, great to have a strip in the background. So now we can let this dry. And uh, here I made a banner and uh, this I made from this punch. It's a uh, stamping up punch, I think, yes. But if you don't have any punch like this, you can make it yourself. You are gonna cut the two uh, uh, papers and make a pattern of it, and you cut it at one and three uh, quarter by one and a half, and the other one, one and a quarter by one. And then you can fold this over, like so and cut from one edge to the other here. So, then you get this. And for this one you do the same. And here we are going to draw some lines, just some helping lines, like so. So, and then you can start to make a border around. And when you cut this out you get the black shape here. So, and um, here is some pocket and here we are going to use some lace. And I already started to glue it down. So we continue here and just to show you a bit. Take 
just a tiny bit here. And lay it like so. And if you're afraid to uh, burn yourself, you can use these uh, glue gun helpers. They come in uh, different like this and also some more in the pack. And they are really helpful. So I will post the link below where you can get it. I think uh, she's called the Jewel Box. So it's easy to burn yourself when you're doing this. But I use just a tiny bit glue here. So can do it without. So now this is ready to glue on here. So I think we can take the uh, school case that goes a bit faster. You also can cut off if you like to. So. So, and here I cut out this image here and I backed it with some paper. This can go inside and this can go inside. And I think this is dry, so this can go inside. And um, here I used a um, chipboard piece and some uh, twine. And we're going to glue this on here. So we can maybe take the glue on here. or something behind here. And we also want something on the banner here. So here you can uh, take some um, some letters. If I have it on the banner here, I'll show you. You can use some of the sticker letters here. But I'm cut out some images here, so we're going to glue them on. So. And also, I forgot to tell you here, I poked hole in each end here and uh, took the twine around here and glued it on the back. So, have some more small things here. So we're going to glue them on. I think maybe I cut this out from a strip, border strip. This was also from a strip. So 
so I just got a little bit down. So now this side is finished and we can take the hinge on. So now I've taken the hinge on here and we can start uh, working on the inside flap here. So we can put this aside here. And here's the same kind of cutting we have done before. And this we are going to have on this black paper. And I think I can need the yellow paper here again. So you can see what we are doing. So we are just going to glue that down. And here again we can glue all the way on the top. But you can leave the top up open if you like to, if you want some tags to stick out. So. And here again you can use some glue that doesn't dry so quick if you need to work a bit with it. I also placed a magnet behind here. So be sure to put gluing properly here. So I think we can glue this on the back side here now. So we can take off here fasten this uh, twine with some score tape. If I can get it off. If you think it's uh, a bit bulky with this glue like that, you can smear it out. So, to be sure, I take it the right way. of the glue out by doing it like so. So, now we can make some tags, but I think I need some clips here again. So I'm sure it's gluing down. So, so here I have taken some tags and some cutouts. Hope I don't lose any here. So, and I back them on the black paper and I poked a hole here. And we are going to use some of this, I'm not sure what it's called, but this is for knitting, so fiber maybe. So, take a double and in from the back. Like so. And uh, the middle one here, maybe we can take this in double. Let's see if we can get it through here. Thank you. 
so. And these two here. And the last one. Wait with a cup of this, maybe I will take this double. I'll see. So. And um, here I've done some fussy cutting again. <laughs> so. And here you can use something else. You can use a shipboard uh, pieces or some flowers, or you can uh, have some cutouts here that I uh, was from a previous project, so if you have something like this you can put that on, it would be nice. So use what you have, that's important, and what you like. So, but we are going to glue this down. And here again, around here, I think it was, uh, I don't know, green or something. So I took my marker and colored it in a, a bit. So I can take this off now. So I think we will give him some more eyes here. in a bit and maybe a couple of tubes so. and we can also put some glossy accent in the eyes and in the mouth if you like to so I think we'll put this here I'm just gluing them in the bottom but you can glue them all down if you like to taken the uh, multi mat on this they are strong so they won't tear so easy so they can be open so on here I cut out some I think this was from the 8x8 um, uh, the separate sheet that has a lot of words and maybe this also I'm not sure so I think I will have this in the middle here So maybe. And this I backed with uh, black paper just to give them a, a frame. Glue here. here. When it dries up, it can be a bit shiny, so it will show. So it's great to take it away while it's still wet. And um, so I have a strip here that I think I will take here. So we're going that down.
will skip this. And here a postcard and I back it with a black paper. This can go inside here. And this on the top here. And this can go down here. So and this behind here. Like so. So now we can glue this on the back side here. Right here is going to go on the top. So If you like you can back this a bit more so you get some color here also but I will just leave it like so here so I have some leftover images here and here are back uh, I haven't told all the things I've done with uh, this but I hope you see it uh, just glue down some images and back it with different colors of uh, cardstock but you will see it in the finish video so Here we could pop this up a bit here, some dimensional, here maybe, I think so. Now I can't find them so we can use a glue gun and that also can make a bit dimensional on it if we take some dots here and don't press it down. So. Just leave it like so for a moment, so then you get some dimensional. Also cut out these and maybe glue them on. See here? No, I don't think so. So, now this is finished. So next episode it will be uh, November. And uh, here's the front, and we can put this inside here. And we can put something behind if you like to. So, like so. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all having a wonderful day. Take care. Bye bye.